Hi, it's Jason Bainey here from EuroOptic, and today I'm going to help you navigate the wide world of Schmittenbender turret options. All right, we have a few Schmittenbender PM2s in front of us here, and you're going to see some more later. Um, it can be pretty overwhelming when you're shopping for a Schmittenbender scope to get through all of the, uh, the abbreviations, the turret options, and really figure out what you want out of scope uh, for your, your specific purpose. So what we have here is basically a run through of all of the currently manufactured Schmidt and Bender turrets. And we're going to wrap up with their newest turret design, which has been pretty incredible and, uh, and offers some things that others don't. So we're gonna kind of start at the beginning, which is also the lowest price and the simplest. Um, this is the Schmidt and Bender double turn. This was just called the double turn. Uh, this is on a five to 25. And basically they have two revs, two revolutions of elevation. And these, these have been around for 15 years, maybe more. And there's a second level of numbers which indicate your second rev of travel and a yellow window. So when you, when you pass into the second rev, the window, now we're going down into the first rev, the window goes from, to black. So black, you're reading the bottom row of numbers. When it pops to yellow, you're reading the top row of numbers. So you get two turns of travel, uh, and this nets you about 26 mils of total travel. Um, this was the standard for Schmidt and Bender for a long time, and a lot of people still love this turret. It's still a great turret. It's very solid, feels great. Um, it's an idiot-proof turret, really, really. Uh, it is also the least expensive, so it'll get you into a PM2 scope uh, for a little less money than, than some of these other options. So that's the double turn. I will tell you briefly on the, uh, the windage is a single turn with a windage limiter. So you can't spin all the way around. That keeps you from getting lost in windage travel if you dial too much. So this one has six mils in each direction and then you hit the stop. Uh, anyway, that's pretty handy. The windage limiter is something I wouldn't want to, uh, to give up at this point after having it. All right, so there was a brief time that the Marine Corps uh, wanted a turret and this is what it is. So this was basically the Marine Corps MTC turret and MTC is more tactile clicks. So this was a DT, double turn. Um, the other acronym you'll see a lot is CW or CCW. Uh, on this side of the world, we generally use counterclockwise turrets. That's the American standard. Uh, Europe, Australia, they prefer clockwise. So with a counterclockwise, the one is to the left. So it's, it's a conventional screw, basically lefty loosey, righty tighty. Um, so you're, what you're hearing now is an MTC that's the more tactile click and that's a basically a full mill clunk so you should be able to hear this so this was the Marine Corps turret that they requested for the M40A3 this was originally on the 3 to 12 PM2 um, has been adapted to the other ones some guys like this one as well it is something they still offer but it's not as widespread um, Again, double turn. This one has a little less travel. Uh, 22 mils, I believe. So on the Marine Corps MTC, you've got the rev indicator right here. And this pops up on the second rev, down on the first rev. So you won't see that a lot, but if you see USMC or just MTC, that's what that was. After that, we have the LTMTC. So that's the locking turret with MTC. So you'll see this again, indicator. So we're in the second rev. So if I go down, that goes away. And then when you want to lock it, so you're down at your zero, let's say. Uh, also, you'll notice the full mill clunk, the MTC part is a little less aggressive. 
So that's something that they changed to to make it a little easier to get that next click past the full mill. And I guess the original intent of the MTC was to be able to dial in the dark or be able to dial quickly. And it's, it is kind of handy. Um, sometimes some people don't like it, some people do. Uh, I can take it either way, I'm, I'm fine either way. But the LT, the LT part is the locking turret. So you just pop that ring down and up. So you uh, have your zero, pop it down, and you can see it says locked, and now it won't go anywhere. Lift it back up, stays there by itself, and you can turn where you need to turn. Um, something else to keep in mind, these Schmidt and Bender zero stops will usually give you a, uh, a bit of uh, travel under zero in case you need to correct some. So we'll see, there's a few clicks under right there. It varies by where your zero is, if there's enough travel left at the bottom. But you always have a few clicks under. So again, that is the LT MTC turret. All right, the last one in kind of the legacy group, we'll say. Um, this was the low profile, basically LT MTC. You'll see some abbreviations, DT27, DT35. The DT means double turn, 27, 35 means that's the amount of travel that's in it. So on a mill scope, there could be a 27 or 35. Uh, there are MOA versions of all of these, and they will have slightly less travel uh, because the clicks are smaller. So you get two turns, same number of clicks, but they're smaller, moving the reticle less. So the uh, DT84, I believe, is the MOA version of this. But by far and away, uh, we sell uh, more mill scopes than MOA and uh, Schmidt and Bender scopes. Um, so here is the, they, they originally brought this out on the 5 to 45, which is what this is. So this was the original 5 to 45 turret. They also did it on the ultra shorts, the 5 to 20 and the 3 to 20. And basically you have uh, a lower profile. They, they originally did this, I believe, for the Ecos solicitation, which was a 5 to 20 ultra short in an air attack mount with, uh, I believe, an aim point mounted over top. So I imagine they did that lower turret to clear that aim point so it wasn't such a high profile. Uh, that was ECOS, E-C-O-S, uh, if you want to see something interesting, um, all bundled up with the mount and the red dot on it. It was, was a pretty interesting package. Um, so anyway, same thing, locking turret with the MTC. So there's the lock. You can obviously hear it go. And when you can see if you can hear the MTC, So again, very navigable, easy to get that click passed. So you run up to a full mill. Say you're trying to dial 2.1, you run up, boom, boom, get two, and then you just, boom, drop over to the point one. So that turret um, is, is what has been on this and the ultra shorts for quite a long time. Um, that is changing now. So they are moving to a new turret that will be the standard for the ultra shorts and the high powers, 5 to 45, 3 to 27, and the 5 to 20 and 3 to 20 ultra short. And the new turrets are going to be a, a DT2 plus and an MT2, which we're gonna talk about next. All right, now to the, uh, the subject that we're, we're really excited about is Schmidt and Bender has come out with some new turrets that are fairly unique on the market. Uh, there's not really anything else like them that I'm aware of. I am a big fan of these and they offer some unique options and capability that nothing else does. Uh, so those are going to be the DT2 plus turrets. As you can imagine, DT is double turn. Uh, and it's the second generation, I guess. And plus means they improved it with some other features, which I'm going to show you all of them here. And then the MT2, MT is multi-turn, so that's the first time we've talked about that one. Um, and generally there's five revs on the multi-turn and that basically nets you more travel and or smaller clicks, um, both of which you'll see here in a minute. So on my left, we'll start with the old standard 5 to 25 and this has the DT2 plus turrets. All of these are DT2 plus, these are MT2s. So this is a still a 0.1 MRAD like the others, uh, and it's double turn as well. And this one gives you about 27 mils of travel. 
but the new features of this, well, this isn't new, but there's a rev indicator there. So you can still see that pop up. But there's a multi-purpose switch over here that's on the windage and elevation. And basically there's three positions. So you can see it move into its three positions, two, three. So it goes from basically facing away from the shooter over here to your nine o'clock. So it makes a 90 degree sweep within the, the three positions. So looking at this here, you'll see uh, in, this, in the nine o'clock position, you'll see this little window is black. You'll see this one is red. I'll show you why in a minute. So when you are seeing a black window there, the turret just spins like normal. No MTC, no lock. Middle position, the window turns to green. And that means you just turned on the MTC. You should be able to hear it. So that's the full mill clunk we were talking about earlier. And the transition on these turrets is smooth as butter. Uh, honestly, it's one of the best click feels that I've ever run. Um, they are as good or better than anything out there. So now to the red. So when you run it to the forward away from the shooter position, you're locked. So that is totally new. Three position switch gives you unlocked, no MTC, locked and MTC. So people that like it can run it. People that don't can. So that's, that is incredibly unique. Uh, on the windage, it's going to be two position. So locked with the red window and no MTC with the green window. Now they do have a nice detent at the zero, so you can get to your zero quickly and blindly. When you hear it, clunk in. And then you can lock it. And again, like I mentioned, you've got a couple clicks under zero in case you need a quick correction and don't have time to get the tools and do it. So that is the five to 25 with the DT2 plus. And this is the five to 45, which has the same exact turret. So you still get all of the power and glass that Schmidt and Bender offers and a 45 power zoom with 27 mils of travel. So 45 with 27 mils of travel, again, doesn't exist anywhere that I'm aware of. So same three position switch, black freewheel, green with an MTC, red locked. See if this one sounds any different. Love those DT2 plus turrets. Um, this also, I will mention the windage is windage limited, just like the other ones, six mils, and then you run into a stop. So then you can't get lost on your windage rev because I've known people that got lost in their revs and it's not fun when that happens. All right, then we have the three to 27 high power with what appears to be the same DT2 plus turret. However, this one now nets you 30 mils of travel. So you get the three position switch, black, green, and red. But this time you get 30 mils of travel, 27 power. All the other, the other turret options are the same as the ones we've discussed. So for the MOI, MOA guys out there, this is a three to 27 with the MOA version of the DT2 plus. Same switch, same rev, in, rev indicator, same windows, same windage limiter to keep you from going past. Same detent back at your zero. And on the three to 27 with the MOA turrets in the, the DT2 plus configuration, you get about 76 minutes of travel. Uh, 
Otherwise, same functionality as the rest. So that was the DT2 Plus. That is one of my favorites. Something else to notice is it's actually lower than most of the older turrets and most of the other turrets on the market, but not too low that it's hard to get a hold of. So it's, it's a really good size. Uh, there's more travel available than most other similar scopes. Uh, and of course, then you have the zoom range offered by Schmidt and Bender, the 3 to 27, 5 to 45. And of course, their top end glass. Something to remember as well, as most of these come with the higher end caps too, which if you buy them separately, you're into those for 90 bucks, maybe more. So, all right, that was the DT2 Plus in the MOA version and the mill version. And now on to the big brother, the MT2, the multi-turn two. And this is my favorite. I'll tell you more about why in a minute. So you'll see what appears at first glance to be kind of a mess here. And that was my thinking initially when I, when I first saw them. But once I got one in my hands, I actually like it a lot. It's probably my favorite turret on the market. And the reason for that is it gives you more travel than most. In fact, the one scope has more travel than anything else I'm aware of in this realm while still giving you a lot of power, while still giving you top end glass, while still giving you fairly lightweight, fairly compact scope. All right, so on the MT2, you have five revs shown here a couple ways. So right now you can see a three in the window, which tells you you're on the third rev. Also, around the perimeter of the turret, there's one, two, three of the five nubs sticking out tells you you're on your third rev. So beside each row of numbers, you will then see one, two, three, four, and five index marks, little, little divots to indicate that's the rev you wanna read off of. So let's say you're here. So you know you're on your third rev, so you read the third line. So we are up at about 143 according to this scale. You just put a decimal in there, it's 14.3 mils. So it's not that hard to read once you understand what it's actually telling you. So again, rev indicator up top, tactile rev indicators here that you can feel in the dark if you need to. Uh, and what I didn't mention yet is these are 0.05 mil clicks. So that's about one sixth MOA, half a centimeter at 100 meters. So it sounds like it's overwhelming, um, I've explained this to a lot of people and uh, guys that have taken these out absolutely love them. Uh, it, it, it is overwhelming at first glance, but once you know what it's, what it's giving you, it's, it's easy to operate. So again, you just run this somewhere around. Okay, now it says two in the window. So we know we're reading the second line of numbers. So we are 73, 7.3 mils. That's how far I'm up. So all you do is put a decimal in these, these whole numbers that they give you. So up here, we see 255, 25.5 mils. So if you're on your fifth rev and you're lined up right there, you know you're up 25.5 mils, which is about what it takes my 6.5 Creedmoor to get to 1,800 yards. That was quite an entertaining day. All right, so back at the zero. Uh, show the, uh, the dimples there so you know what rev you're on. So again, this is a five to 25 with the MT2 uh, turret. There's also a five to 45 and three to 27 with the MT2 turret, which I'll show you in a minute. So on the windage, this is a little different. There's no windage limiter, uh, but you do get a second rev of numbers and There's your indicator. So you know if you get in to that rev of travel. So you still can't get lost uh, by getting off of a winded rev. Uh, this has the same slider control that the DT2 Plus does. So nine o'clock, black window, green window, red window. Of course, red is locked. Green is the MTC. Again, 
buttery smooth. You can get that next click past it if you need to. So there are some similarities between the DT2 Plus and the MT2, but the MT2 gives you smaller clicks and more travel basically within the scope line. So that was the 5 to 25 with the MT2. Then we're going to jump way to the top, and here's the 5 to 45 with the MT2. So the, uh, well, actually, let me back to the 5 to 25. Total travel, 5 to 25, is 29 and a half mils. So you'll note that even though they're smaller clicks, to let you dial in closer if you want to, um, it actually nets you more travel. So that's pretty special. So 29 and a half mils is fairly unique. Um, that's on the five to 25. So jumping right to the five to 45, again, something special also offers you 29 and a half mils of travel. So that highest number is 295. You just put the decimal in 29.5 mils of travel. So you get again, top end glass, top end zoom range and top end travel capability along with all of the other features of the turret that you can lock it have it with MTC or without MTC all of the rev indicators it's an incredibly capable scope now to my favorite which I see as the ultimate ELR scope or the ultimate if you if you want to spend a lot of money on uh, one scope and that's that's all that's in the budget and you want to move it around, this can literally do everything. 3 to 27 with the MT2 turret. So you've got three power if you need to hunt in, the, in thick woods. I mean, you can make a 30 yard shot if you need to on a deer. 27, there's nothing you can't do with 27. Um, so the special thing is with the MT2 turret on the 3 to 27, you now have 39 and a half mils of travel. So your biggest number is 395. 39 and a half mils of travel is unmatched in this market as far as I'm aware. Um, same thing, 0.05 MRAD clicks, tons of travel, three to 27, 27 power, you can shoot two miles, not a problem. Again, same controls as the rest, three position slider, same windage as we just discussed. So that is the MT2 on the 3 to 27 high power, which again, I, I see as the ultimate ELR scope at this point. So DT2 plus MT2, those are the two new offerings that we're excited about from Schmidt and Bender. And now that I've discussed the capabilities and advantages of the DT2 plus and the MT2 turrets, uh, I think you will appreciate them as much as we do. And you may just have to get one for yourself. Uh, one more thing to discuss briefly is uh, the, the hunting variation of these turrets. Uh, I'm going to show you that quickly so you can understand that one as well because it's a little simpler, but again, it's an improved turret uh, and a very capable long-range hunting scope, more, more towards the hunting crowd than uh, tactical field shooting. All right, now I'm going to show you briefly kind of a, an alternate version of the, uh, or maybe this was, the, this was actually the first version of the DT2+. Plus. Uh, when they did it on the 3 to 21 Exos. So 3 to 21 Exos is more hunting driven scope. Second focal plane versus the other ones are generally first focal plane. Um, single turn, so you can't get lost in the field. Capped windage. So there's an MOA version and a mill version. They actually have a new MOA reticle, which is pretty nice, LRH MOA, which you should see nearby. Um, so the MOA, now these sliders have two positions. There is no third position. So you've got green and you've got red. So green, you're spinning. Red, you're locked. So in the MOA version, there is 37 plus MOA on one turn. That's enough to get just about any caliber capable of getting to a thousand to a thousand some of the higher uh, more intense rounds could probably get you to 1200 yards possibly more 
and the mill version, same thing, two position slider, locked and unlocked, single turn, 15 mils, same deal, 15 mils will get the slowest 308 in the world to a thousand yards if you want to, um, or it could get your, uh, your more intense hunting rounds much, much, several hundred yards further. So 15 mils on one rev, obviously very audible clicks, and lockable. If you need to scabbard it, running through through uh, tight woods, luggage, airplanes, whatever, it won't turn. Again, comes with the high grade caps that are worth about 100 bucks. So that is the single turn variation uh, that's on the 3 to 21 Exos. All right, well, I hope you liked that video. Um, that was a pile of scopes that we went through. Um, Hopefully you learned something, and if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe, and like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any further questions or want to look at purchasing one of these scopes, give us a call. Or you can go to our website at www.eurooptic.com.